Welcome back to Yamin Moshe, the artist quarter in beautiful Jerusalem. I'm Ron Kanner, and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. In our last program, we explained how the first day of the week most likely referred to Motzei Shabbat or Saturday night. Now that begs the question, to what is John referring in Revelation 1.10, if not Sunday? While I understand why people might assume that the Lord's Day was John's reference to Sunday, I mean, Yeshua did rise from the dead on Sunday, you might find it interesting that the Lord's Day was a specific day of the year on the Roman calendar. The one religion that covered the entire Roman Empire was Caesar worship. Every emperor after Caesar was thought to be divine. Those who didn't worship him were considered atheist. And that could bring a death sentence. During the time of John's exile on Patmos, Domitian was emperor. He was referred to in public documents as our Lord and God. In 96, he put to death his own cousin for being an atheist. Now, atheist was code word for Christian. Domitian was the emperor who exiled John after he was unsuccessful in boiling him alive in a vat of oil. Domitian took the idea that he was deity very seriously. Patrick Jones writes in Revelations from Revelation, he informed all governors that all government announcements and proclamations must begin, our Lord and God Domitian commands. They must call Domitian God or die. Thus the issue was clear. It was a matter of God's, either the Lord Jesus Christ or the Emperor of Rome was Lord God. It was Jesus or Caesar. Other religions were tolerated as long as they did not conflict with Caesar worship. This became a problem for believers as well as for religious Jews who didn't believe in Yeshua. Jones claims, quote, once a year, everyone in the empire had to appear before the magistrates in order to burn a pinch of incense to the Godhead Caesar and to say Caesar is Lord. To refuse to say Caesar is Lord was treason, end quote. This yearly event was known as, you guessed it, the Lord's Day. This was the day that John was most likely referring to, not Sunday. This also fits in well with the theme of Revelation in the early chapters, which encourages the believers to stand strong even to the death in the face of persecution. John himself had been exiled because of his faith. I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. He had suffered greatly for the gospel, having been boiled in oil and survived. It is no accident that God chose to give this revelation to John on the day that virtually every believer would have a crucial decision to make. Caesar or Yeshua. Those believers understood both the reference and its implication. Again, to quote Jones, many Christians were thrown to the lions charged with atheism for refusing to sacrifice to the emperor who claimed to be God, end quote. Let me also note that this understanding to publicly confess Jesus as Lord put one's life and family in serious peril. For many years, I thought that Romans 10 verse 9 appeared just too easy and simple. If you declare with your mouth, Yeshua is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's all there is to it. It's simple. Just confess and believe. However, once you understand the background of Caesar worship and the persecution that it entailed, you realize that to do this was to say, in essence, I am willing to die for my faith in Yeshua. What Paul is doing here is indirectly confronting the issue of commitment. Because to confess that you are serving Yeshua was equivalent to confessing that Caesar is, in fact, not your Lord. And that could get you a lunch meeting with a very hungry lion in a Roman Colosseum. And now you know the meaning, at least in my opinion, of the Lord's Day. Now make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss an episode and you can always find me at roncantor.com. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. 
For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to god.tv forward slash Zion.